station. This is WCAA TV. How do you hear me? We hear you. We hear you loud and clear. Welcome aboard ISS, and we're ready for some questions. <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's so good to see you guys. Um, yeah, I guess uh, my well, first great question to be with you. Uh, for Mike. <laughs> Uh, for Mike, uh, there, uh, tell me a little bit about what is the, the best thing for you about being there and also the biggest adjustment in being in space. Wow, so that's uh, the best thing about being up here, um, you know, is actually getting to do what you've been trained to do. So we actually spend quite a bit of time uh, in training before you get the opportunity to fly into space. And, and so that's actually two and a half years long once you've been assigned before you fly. And finally getting to execute that mission is, is absolutely fantastic. And of course, the other part of it is being up here with your crewmates. Uh, there's just great people uh, to work with up here, great people on the ground that are supporting you. What's the hardest thing to, uh, to get used to up here? Uh, you keep pinching yourself. It's hard to believe that you're actually here. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a dream that, that many of us had, and, and sometimes it's, it's just hard to believe that it's actually happening. Okay. Uh, Mike, I know you're, you guys are really far from home. Uh, is that hard, and um, what can you do to kind of stay connected with your family? Yeah, actually, uh, they do a fantastic job of keeping us connected with our families. We have uh, what we call IP phone up here, so we're actually able to just make phone calls uh, really any time that uh, the, the comm is there, and for the most part, it's there all the time. So if we have a free moment, uh, we usually have an opportunity to call somebody, family, friends, whoever that may be. And then in addition with our families, we get once a week, we have a video conference, and that's always nice on the weekends to be able to see their faces. Okay. Uh, Rick, I know you've been in space before. Um, is it, does it ever get old? Is it different this time? Or how, how is it for you now that you're back? Well, of course, it never gets old. This is my fourth time to the International Space Station, but my first three missions were only two weeks long. So kind of like Mike said, I keep pinching myself thinking, wow, I'm going to be here for six months. It's, uh, and I'm still just getting settled in, so I look forward to a a great mission and doing some great science and research. Okay. Uh, Mike, I know uh, your, your Twitter handle is Astro Illini, so I feel like you still kind of have that connection to the U of I. Can you talk a little bit about that and how you, you know, how what you did here in Champaign kind of helps you get to where you are? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm certainly an Illini at heart, and I certainly wouldn't be here without uh, the University of Illinois and my time spent in, in Champaign. And that, that goes across the board from the engineering department to uh, the fraternity that I was a member of, Pi Kappa Alpha, to uh, being a member of ROTC and, of course, being able to play football. All of those um, contributed to, to making me uh, or giving me the opportunity to, to be here today. Okay. What do you remember most about being here? Or what do you miss about, you know, Champagne? Or what, what are your fondest memories? I guess. Well, there's a there's a lot of fondest uh, fond memories, and of course, I, I have to say the the best memory that I, I took with me was my wife. Uh, she was also from the University of Illinois, um, but. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a whole package, and, and there's a lot of fond memories, and it's hard to pick out just one. And uh, certainly uh, school was, was a lot of work, but it was also a lot of fun. Playing football was an incredible opportunity, but also all the great friends that I had, both in school, on the football team, in the fraternity, and in ROTC, uh, those, those are all uh, absolutely fantastic and great memories. Okay. Um, Rick, talk to me a little bit about what it's like kind of as you're adjusting to, to being on the space station now. You know, you've just been there a few days now. Yeah, when you, uh, when you first arrive, it takes a, a few days for your body to adjust. You know, the fluid shifts to your head, your upper body, because of the lack of gravity. Uh, it just takes time for you to get used to the weightless environment. Probably one of the biggest adjustments is just finding everything you need to function on a daily basis. You have to find your clothes, your food, your toothbrush, and just get settled in, how to log on to the computers and things like that. So Houston and the other mission control centers have given us extra time in the day just to get settled in, just to get uh, used to living up here and getting all our things organized. 
But, uh, you know, we're ready to start working. I'm up here with Koichi Wakata also, and we're ready to start working, and we've already started doing uh, some, uh, uh, some experiments and things like that. So it takes a few days, but not very long to get settled in. Okay, so how was the experiment, or the experience with the Olympic torch for either of you, you know, get, bringing that on board and seeing that kind of go on outside and stuff like that? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of times you hear people say they dream of being an astronaut, and of course one of my dreams uh, was to be in the Olympics, and so I, I didn't make that dream, but uh, getting to hold on to the torch for even just a, a short moment was, was a, a great experience, a memorable one that I'll, I'll certainly never forget. Okay. Um, Mike, can you talk to me a little bit about uh, Train Like an Astronaut and uh, some of the things that um, you've been involved in up there like that? Yeah, you bet. Uh, it, it all really started. I mean, a athletics and, and fitness has been very important in my life, uh, going all the way to back to when I was a little kid. And I, I just thought this would be a great opportunity to emphasize how important that is in your life. Certainly it is for us up here in, in space because in the microgravity environment, our muscles get weaker and our bones get weaker, and we need to try and counteract that. And one way we do that is with exercise, both uh, weightlifting and riding bikes and running. And, but it's also important for people on the ground. And so I just thought that this was an opportunity to not only get people excited about fitness, but also give them an opportunity to get excited about space. That's cool. And I noticed you guys, some of you have been tweeting and stuff like that. Um, how has that experience been like? You know, obviously those pictures are just incredible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's neat to, to be able to share just a little bit of what we're experiencing up here. And the views are absolutely stunning. Uh, you, you know, it's one of those things that you never quite get used to is looking down on the earth and all its glory from up here. And so if you can just uh, share a little bit of that with people around the world, that's, that's, a, that's a great experience. It's, it's one that's a lot of fun. That's great. Mike, I've seen a few um, of your interviews that you've done since being up there, and I don't know if this is just your personality, but you are always just smiling. You must just love doing what you're doing right now. <laughs> well, yeah, it's hard not to smile up here, and it's, it's fun to talk about this, too, because it is such a neat experience, and it's something that, uh, boy, you wish you could just share with everybody, and everybody had the opportunity to experience this, because... I mean, it is it is amazing uh, being able to float around up here, being able to do all the, the exciting science that's going on um, to, to live here. Every moment of it is is fun, is exciting, and, it, and it's hard not to smile. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was great talking to you, and uh, hello to all of Champaign. Thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event.